What's up, Pug Nation? We are back with another informational powerlifting video. Today, we will be discussing yet another nuanced powerlifting topic, and in this video, I will be defending my stance on not using wrist wraps while bench pressing. If you guys like informational powerlifting content, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I look very carefully at YouTube analytics, so right now I'm making more specialty videos such as this because they tend to be a little bit more popular than my other content. Now, without further ado, let's get started. This video is going to be broken down into two parts. One, what are the benefits of utilizing wrist wraps while benching? And two, why should you consider not using wrist wraps while benching? Part one, what are the benefits of utilizing wrist wraps while bench pressing? For one, if you look carefully at this next clip, you'll notice the top bench pressers in the world do not wear wrist wraps. Most people use wraps to help stabilize the joints to prevent any unwanted movement. Without wrist wraps, people generally experience pain due to the hyperextension of the wrists. By wrapping your joints, the lifter can promote proper wrist placement under the bar as well as perform high repetition movements as a result of the reduced discomfort of having to rely entirely on your wrists. Looking online, it seems like the consensus is that wrist wraps, quote, better stabilize barbell weight and prevent sapping of strength from your shoulders or legs, end quote, which I assume is a lack of global stability. It's all in the ring. Part 2. Why should you consider not using wrist wraps while benching? Personally, there are two reasons as to why I stopped using wrist wraps while benching. The first reason is preventing injury. Last year before Raw Nationals 2018, I injured my left trap which continued to be re-aggravated every time I benched. Back then, I utilized a very cocked wrist position which ended up reducing my range of motion on the bench significantly, but ended up hyperextending my wrists and causing issues in my neck as a result of compensation. What I noticed was that whenever I stopped using wrist wraps, the injury would fade away, but every time I reincorporated wrist wraps for heavier sets, the injury came back. This seems to be a very common issue for many people that tend to injure themselves while benching. Whenever injured, wrist wraps can help mask underlying issues and cause you to execute the exercise in a compromising position due to temporary pain relief. In short, wrist wraps can help mask pain when executing the bench press, which ends up pushing the user to perform more sets and repetitions in positions that they normally shouldn't be comfortable in. The second reason is that benching without wrist wraps reduces the amount that I roll when I bench press. Rolling occurs when the user adopts a cocked wrist position and displaces the wrist to a straighter position during the movement. Without the use of wrist wraps, I'm able to position my wrists in a cocked position that ends up being far more wedged than if I were using wrist wraps. One thing I noticed was that longer wrist wraps would end up reducing my wrist flexibility which affects the amount that I would be able to cock my wrists. This makes sense because wrapping your wrist joints, although promoting stability, decreases flexion which ends up having the wrists wanting to return to a straight wrist position. And that's it for today. Once again, hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the content because then I'll know which videos to make more of. Thanks for watching Pug Nation. Peace.